Hi, I'm Janet Fox, the author of Books for Kids, including my newest book, Carry Me Home. Kids ask me all the time, where do you get your ideas and where do your stories come from? I'd like to tell you a little bit about ideas and about how to write stories that come from your imagination, but can also come from things that are all around us. If you have a pencil and paper, in a minute, I'm going to ask you to write some things down. The idea for Carry Me Home came from listening to an interview with a family that was living in their car. And I imagined a girl, I named her Lulu, who might be living in her family's car with her sister Serena. Then I imagined what Lulu might wish for, like a home. There are lots of ways we talk about wishes, right? We wish on stars, on horseshoes, on four-leaf clovers, or on birthday candles. I read a story about a girl in Japan who made a wish by trying to make 1,000 origami cranes. That story is called Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes by Eleanor Kerr. Now, when I was a girl, I loved origami. Origami is the ancient Japanese art of paper folding. My parents went on a trip to Hawaii and came home with an origami kit. And I used up all the paper in that kit, making hundreds of different kinds of animals. I thought that Lulu in my story could discover Sadako's story, and Lulu would also love origami, and that making paper cranes could be her way of wishing. Here's a passage in Carry Me Home where Lulu discovers the art of origami. It's origami, one of the girls, Lori, corrected. The art of Japanese paper folding. Lulu bent over her homework, reading a paragraph and the question so she could write her response. Huh, that was weird. She read the paragraph again, a summary of a bush, book they were about to read. The book was about a Japanese girl who survived the Hiroshima bomb in World War II, but then developed leukemia. There was an old Japanese belief that anyone who made a thousand paper cranes by folding them in the origami way could make a wish, and that wish would come true. So the girl began making paper cranes, wishing to get well. Lulu looked up. Serena was folding a blue piece of paper. She stopped and smiled at Lulu. See? She held up her blue, sort of looked like a dinosaur. Let's go back to the ways we wish. And I want you to think about what you could write about wishes. Do you have a pencil and paper handy? First, think of something you want very much. Something you could wish for. Maybe it's a puppy. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's acing your next test or a way to better play basketball or that you'll soon see your grandma again. It could be anything. Write down your wish. Now think of the ways we make wishes and choose one. Here are some ideas once more. Stars, four-leaf clovers, birthday candles, pennies dropped in a well, horseshoes, turning three times in a circle, making 1,000 origami cranes. Write down the way you like best. Now think of a character, a girl or boy, and give them a name. Then give them your wish. Finally, think about the way they might make that wish. Now you have all the ingredients for making a story of your own about a girl or a boy with a wish. In Carry Me Home, Lulu wishes for a home. And she makes paper cranes to help her make that wish come true. Here's another little passage about her wish. In the darkness, when she heard Serena's soft breathing, she pulled at her backpack and felt around and found the green paper crane. She held it up in two fingers against the dim light coming from outside the car. A wish. A thousand cranes. It did look like a bird, that green paper crane, in the shadows as a silhouette. It did look like a crane. A thousand paper cranes was a lot to have to make for just one wish. But she'd started with one, as everyone did. One wish. One crane. Start with the first. 
It was such a big wish, Lulu's wish. I would love to know about the stories you write about your character and their wishes and what happens next. Bye for now.